<laughs> Are you kidding me, man? Level 50 guy drops in a one shot. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you what I believe is probably the best unique weapon I have found so far in my 100 plus hours of playing Starfield. This is the Avatar. You can see the value of this thing right now is 79,000 credits. Obviously it won't actually sell for that, but that is like massive. And that's only with four mods out of seven attached. 130 range, takes 6.5 millimeter ammo. This thing is a beast. And here's the cool thing about it. All right, you can charge it up. You hear it? And then release, boom. And it dropped that guy in a one shot. It dropped that guy in a one shot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to show you this thing in action, but before I do, let me take a moment to thank the military online game War Thunder for sponsoring this video. War Thunder is actually the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made with more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships all pitted against each other in online PvP battles. It's free to play on PC as well as current and previous gen Xbox and Playstations. But War Thunder's love of vehicles is clearly displayed in their incredible attention to detail with each vehicle being handmade down to their individual components. If you have a favorite era in War Machines, then you'll be pleased that the vehicles in this game go all the way back to the 1920s, just after the First World War. But I think the most unique thing about this game is how combat is handled with no standard hit point system, but instead damage is done directly to specific vehicle components or to the personnel operating them with a damage x-ray system to show you exactly what's been disabled or impacted by your attacks. The commitment to realism is admirable, and I love that even the weapons themselves aren't cheap audio tracks, but instead direct imitations of how these unique weapons sound in real life. So check out War Thunder for yourself on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation 4 free. And if you register today on any platform, you'll get a large free bonus pack just for using my link in the description and pinned comment, including multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, and boosters, and more. All right, let's get back to the video. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's chunky. It's gorgeous. And it highlights targets for you too. Now, I am not a like high level uh, sniper in this game, right? I expect into shotgun usage. Okay. Whoa, look at that, almost drops a level 42 in one shot. He's down on the ground. Oh, and he's toast. And for reference's sake, I, I am not like, oh my God, look at how much damage I did. I uh, am not on like some level one planet, right? I keep hitting that little piece of metal there. Can I thread the needle? There we go. I'm not on like some level one planet, all right? I am actually on a level 55 planet. Far, a little headshot, and he drops just like level 42 guy dropped in one shot. It's it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I should probably heal up. I'm just standing out here in the open talking. But anyways, this thing is incredible, the avatar. Now you might be asking, okay, well, that looks really cool. How do I get it? You gonna tell me how to get this thing? Yeah, it's actually pretty simple. So I don't want you to rush your way through anything, but I will tell you that this weapon can only be uh, be obtained after you start to progress through your uh, new game plus system. So once you have um, you know beaten the story, you've beaten Starfield the first time through, and then you reset your world. This is something you know, it's common knowledge now. This is something you can do in Starfield: reset your world, start over again, but keep your current level. So after you do that. There's going to be a special vendor, uh, and, and they will, uh, they're called the Trader, not not T-R-A-I-T-O-R, the Trader, T-R-A-D-E-R, -E right? The Trader will contact you random when you're jumping from system to system. So sometimes, you know, you're just flying around, you're going from planet to planet. I was just exploring the cosmos, and uh, I... I had uh, fast traveled to a planet, and when I came out of uh, my, gra my grav drive, you know, hyperspace or whatever, I come out, and this ship is waiting for me, and, uh, and they contact me, and they talk to me, and they have some interesting uh, voice lines ahead of time that let you know that this person is um, maybe not a normal human. And as they're talking to you, they eventually get to this point where they say, uh, just so you know, I have some really good gear for sale. And it's ridiculously marked up. It's very expensive. And uh, they were not lying about that. So I perused their wares from ship to ship. And I saw this gun, the Avatar, 
I saw this gun in their uh, in their inventory for me to purchase, and it was heckin' expensive. I think I, I paid 45,000 credits for this one gun, and I was like, it's a named weapon. I don't recognize this this frame, right? I've never had a gun drop in my 100 hours of playing this game that looks like this. It's unique. I have to have it. So uh, I, I dropped the 45,000 credits and uh, picked this thing up. So that's how you acquire the Avatar. And the thing I like about this is that, I mean, it has heckin' good range, but also like uh, ammo conservation, you are not like blasting through your ammo, obviously. You're going slow, you're charging it up, and one shot is gonna do a frick ton of damage, right? And while it is good as a sniper to pick people off from a distance, it also does very well in close quarters too. So just to show you guys, all right, I am in a system that is level 55, okay? This isn't like a walk in the park kind of a place. Now I'm willing to rack up a bounty for you folks to show this thing off. These are uh, Crimson Fleet folks. In my current playthrough, I'm, I'm actively in the middle of that quest line so they don't show up as enemies for me and if i shoot them i'm gonna have a bounty on my head worth worth it oh <laughs> just right through the right through the dome good grief man this guy's level 50. oh oh that's a lot of xp this thing is <laughs> Quite possibly OP. That guy's through the wall. He's inside the building. I'm gonna go ahead and start charging it. Oh, are you kidding me, man? Level 50 guy drops in a one shot. I love how friggin' beefy this thing looks, too. Look at this thing, it's humongous. They're big chilling right now. They're like, nah, he's cool, he's one of us, right? Like, he wouldn't. <laughs> he wouldn't do anything, right? He's, he's, a, he's a friend. He's part of the Crimson Fleet. Nah. They don't even care. Yeah, there's another 15,000. Love it. I'm doing this for you guys. Do me a favor. Make my investment here worth all the money I'm losing <laughs> by dropping a like on the video for me. That'd be, that'd be really nice of you. Where are you going? Nah. Hey, you need to die, bro. Let's just go barrel stuff this dude. He keeps hiding. <laughs> but, oh, gosh. Just barrel stuffed him. Now for the captain. Captain. Oh, yeah, we're good. And, uh, that's that. Ooh, Frenzy Modified Advanced Drum Beat. Cool. I can sell that. Well, there y'all have it. That is the Avatar. Boom. I hope this inspired you to go out there and make sure that you pick this thing up because it is nasty. And it's a lot of fun to play with. So best of luck out there in your endeavors. And don't forget to try War Thunder for free and use my link in the description and pinned comment to get up and running with a bonus pack with vehicles, boosters, and more. Hey, be warm and well fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you among the stars. Bye-bye.